This video explains how to iterate over the columns of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to construct a data frame using the data frame constructor of the pandas library, as you can see in the second code box. So after running these lines of code, we have created a new data frame object, which is called data. And we have also printed this data frame below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that our example data frame contains five rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to iterate over the columns of our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in the first line of this box, I'm using a for loop and I'm looping over the columns in our data frame data. And then in the second line, I'm specifying what I want to perform within this for loop. So in this case, I want to print the character string, the values of this column are, and then I'm extracting the values in this column as a list. So after running the third code box, you can see that another output is returned. More precisely, one separate output for each column in our data frame. And as you can see, each of these outputs contains a character string. The values of this column are, and then the values in this column as a list. We can also perform calculations when we iterate over the columns of a data frame, as you can see in the next example, in the fourth code box. So once again, I'm using a for loop to loop over the columns of our data frame. And then within the for loop, I'm calculating the sum of all values in our column. So in this case, the sum of the values in the first column is equal to 510. The second column has a sum of 10 and the third column has a sum of 65. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.